Hello everyone, and welcome back to another custom night. Today is April 4th, sorry, not April 4th, April 18th today, 2023, and we have a nice one for you today. We have Sanko, Sebastian, Doomsbay, Jake, and Shane versus Delta, Jason, Mark, Levi, and Joey. Quite an interesting matchup, not sure how it's going to go. I didn't look at the role designations yet. But we're going to see some familiar roles and probably a couple, you know, ones that we didn't expect. Anyways, we're in the draft right now, and like usual, you cannot see it, so I will describe what is happening. So on the blue side, first ban Zareth. Pretty obvious counter to uh, Jason. They respond by banning Graves, which is Shane's primary pick. Next ban on blue side is Yone, followed by Cho'Gath on red side. Uh, and then finally, the last band is Caitlyn to counter Delta, and blue uh, red side will respond by banning Ezreal. All right, so I can see that a lot of the bands are being quite targeted to specific players. Zareth being Jason's pick, Graves being Shane's pick, Yone being Levi's pick, Cho'Gath being Sebastian's pick, uh, Caitlyn being uh, Delta's pick, and Ezreal. I don't know exactly. Maybe Jake's pick. I don't know who's playing ADC on blue side. Anyways, we're going to have the Blitzcrank locked in first on the blue side. Countered by the Zaya on red side. Mark is the support on red side, so I wonder how he'll respond to fighting Blitzcrank this many times in a row. Hopefully, he's adapted to the matchup and he'll be playing it better. So, hopefully. We're betting on that. So Mark decides to whip out the Zyra, which is a good pick into Blitzcrank, but he's often felt hesitant to lock it in. So I'm glad he's being confident in this situation. I think he'll do quite well, especially when paired with the Zaya, it's a lot of projectiles flying around. So now that the bot has shown, I wonder if they're gonna pick up their ADC here. Okay, we see Pantheon locked in by Sebastian. I don't know where that's gonna be going. I probably, probably mid, but we'll see. Tristana, interesting. Tristana is gonna be locked in for the blue side. So it's going to be a Tristana Blitzcrank lane versus Zaya Zyra. Huh, that's a funny little tongue twister. Zaya Zyra, Zaya Zyra, Zaya Zyra. Okay. So I'll get into the matchup analysis a bit later, but those are the two bot lanes as of now. Last pick before the second round of bans coming in for the red side. Let's see what they lock in here. Vex. Okay, so it looks to be a Pantheon versus Vex mid. But I am not sure yet. We'll see. So second round of draft or of the bans come in now. Uh, red side starting. Let's see what they ban out here. So now that bot and potentially mid is shown, I'm going to be checking out which top and jungle bans they're going to go with. Malphite. Good, good choice. I was going to say that they should probably ban Malphite. Great pick. What does blue team respond with? They respond with a Fiora ban. Interesting. Who plays Fiora on that team? Levi, I guess? Okay, so what will red team do for their final ban of the draft? Let's see. Okay, taking a bit of a while to lock in a ban. It's going to be a Silas ban, so it looks like we're targeting the top side really hard here. Ma both Silas and Malphite are some of Shane's strongest picks, so now I can assume that Shane is going top for sure, which means Sebastian's mid. Likely. So Zach has been locked in jungle or top, I think it's top for the red side. I assume Levi is going to go Zach top. So now blue side is going to be picking two. Fiddlesticks. Fiddlesticks. Okay, so Fiddlesticks has been locked in for the blue side. That's definitely going jungle, so... That's different. I haven't seen that before. Okay, and then the top will be... Will be... Is it going to be Jax? Let's see. I can't say Jax is the most... Okay, Aurelia. Interesting pick, considering 
the amount of disruption on red side, I don't know how effective you're going to be. Blue side as a whole is really squishy. Good team fighting, but no front line really. Let's see what the final pick of red side will be. It's the jungle, most likely. Jax. Now I'm not sure anymore. I don't know if it's Zack jungle or if it's Jax jungle, but could be either or. I don't actually know who's top laning for the red side, but I guess I'll understand once we get in game. Looking around for any swaps here, we have Sanko in the jungle with Fiddlesticks. We have Pantheon mid and Sebastian. Shane's going top with Aurelia, and the bot lane will be Tristana, Blitzcrank with Jake on ADC and Doomsbay on support. As for red side, I can't tell. So I'm just gonna say I'm pretty sure that Delta is the ADC. Mark is support as usual. Zach is likely jungle and is probably Levi. Mid is Vex and it's probably Jason. And then that means top is Jax and it's Joey. I don't know about that one. I don't know who the hell Joey is playing on that team. You don't believe in Joey's Jax? Joey's playing Jax? Oh, he's playing Zach. Okay. All right. So, all right. So I've been told that Joey is playing Zach, which means he's playing Zach jungle. Um, Zach not isn't necessarily a hard champion, so I'm not, you know, particularly worried. I'm just <laughs> okay. That's just new. Definitely not something I am used to seeing because Joey's not really an engaged tank player. He's very much an assassin diver player. Anyways, we have three minutes to kill before we get into game because of spectator delay. So I'll use this time to analyze, I guess, both the uh, the blue and red comps. And here I am joined with Shannon, one of the players from previous games. Uh, so, Shannon, how do you feel about the compositions of both sides? Wh who do you think, just looking at it on a draft level, without any player skill involved or whatever, whose draft do you think is better? Um, that's a good question. And why? Oh, maybe it's just hello. Um, hello everyone. Yes, I would just introduce my name is Shannon. Um, for those that don't know me, I'm like a ghost in the server. Um, that appears when I am needed. But, um, in terms of this draft, I think... I think I would have to give it to probably blue side, only because I think just having... I don't know. I just feel like the team fight's just like a little bit better. Really? I think that's what it'll boil down to. I don't know. I, I think so. Interesting, because I I find the opposite because I feel like blue lacks a strong front line, with it just being three divers essentially. No, sorry, four divers because Tristan is a diver, so it's just four yeah. divers plus a blitzcrank versus a very very front to back team. We have a strong split pushing top laner and Jax. We have Zyra and Vex for massive area control. Couple that with a Zach who can just be Zach and annoying. And Zaya is probably what, one of the best at area control as an ADC. So it's quite that is true. tough. I also think that what the fight will boil down to is Zach and possibly Jax engaging while Fiddle is simply behind a wall. And then the team fight immediately turns because no one is keeping track of Fiddle. Which allows for Fears to go off, which allows for Bliss Crank Hooks, which allows for Aurelia stun. And then Aurelia gets to do whatever she wants because everyone is CC'd now. And then Pantheon one-shotting either Vex or Zyra. Um, and I think the fight will just turn because of Fiddle 6 R. So that's the only reason why I think 13 fight is better because I don't think anyone will actually keep track of Fiddle 6. And I think it'll just be free alts um, every single fight. But... If the fiddle six is actually kept track of, then obviously I think red side's a lot better, just simply because Zach E and then Zach R with Radiant Virtue, yeah. so Jack gets healing. Um, Vex R's in too, then she gets healing, and I then obviously like Zyra is just kind of like immediate wave control. If you have Zach R on top of Zyra R, it's yeah, kind of crazy. it's quite doomed for the blue team. Yeah, well, I will say that what I will give in favor of the blue team is I think their snowball potential is absurd compared to the red team. It is a lot higher. If Aurelia or Tristana get fed at any the point, game is I over. think they just so, yeah. the game. That's basically, I think, the win condition, what's going to come down to in the end. So now you guys can see the champion portraits. So yeah, we do have Joey on jungle. We're going to have the Jax top with the Ignite. 
uh, Zaya Zyra, and Vex mid. So Pantheon, I, I think Pantheon is going to be quite a dead pick if you can't capitalize on the Vex. And I don't know how well Pantheon can actually kill a Vex with the whole fear mechanic and anti-dash thing that Vex is going on. Uh, yeah. I just know for sure that Pantheon in the later fights will have absolutely no impact due to the nature of all their abilities being so wide in their area of coverage and how much range they have. I don't really see an angle besides Panth just ulting in along with the Fiddlesticks. So definitely going to yeah. keep my eyes on the mid lane for sure. I think that's going to be the most volatile lane besides, of course, bot lane because if Tris Blitz gets a pick, it's it's quite it's quite over for yeah. the other side. I think the team comps is essentially just pick versus team fight and whichever team does that better kind of wins exactly now will this load that's a good question okay i'm just gonna go exit that and then redo that i don't know what did that now load or i'll be upset I want my legendary mid lane match against Joey. I need that to happen. Yeah, I need to see that at some point for sure. There we go. Okay. Hopefully it's wow. going to load now, but it's still at zero. So so please. Maybe it's still spectator delay. I don't I have no clue. Oh, okay. We're good. Okay. okay. All right, okay. we're in. Oh my god, what is going on? We're, we're almost in. Hello? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is what it meant by 0%. What in the world? The game is still rendering. I have never seen this before. Oh my god. What the? Okay, I'm gonna exit it one more time. I've seen, like, <laughs> that yeah, is... I've seen so many leak bugs, like where the floor just disappears. Mm -hmm. But like, that that one's new. All Wait, shadowy, I got like, kicked it's... out of the. You're kidding. You're kidding. You're. Oh my. You're, you're kidding. Oh my god. Wait, wait, hold up. Oh, spectate game. We're good. We're good. No, we're good. Mm -hmm. Woo! Let's go. Thank God. That was strange, folks. But um, hopefully we'll get loaded in and then we could start uh, watching. Please. Oh, my. Finally. Okay. Perfect. Okay, let's go bring up the stats. So how do I do this again? So I do that. Then I could display that. And then I know if I press. Oh, yeah. If I press X, I could see the gold. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So I'll go hide this for now. Uh, let's just take out the tab. Oh my god, what am I doing? Okay. Alright, perfect, okay. Alright, so it looks like both teams are invading. But Trisana is left alone on blue side. Interesting. So, neither team is going to really find anything for it. Red team has been spotted on the ward now, so blue team, how do they react to this? We see that Tristan is still hovering uh, on blue side, close to the tier 2 tower, so I guess red is just going to back here, but the blue side is not, oh, are they going to back here? Blue side, on the other hand, they're, they're looking like they're going to take the blue side red, uh, red camp, so let's see. No, they're leaving now? Okay, I'm not really sure what's going okay. on anymore. I, maybe they got bored? Oh, they're going for a cheese on Jax? Wow, this is ambitious, truly. I don't think this is going to work out. This is really yeah, quite Jax, a waste of time. Um, I kind of agree. If Jax takes like, his hop first... Oh my god, does this work? Does this actually work? Oh my god, it works. Wait, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Wait. Wait, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Wait. It doesn't work. So this no, is exactly. really... Like, there's, there's no reality where that works. Yeah, I just realized, yeah, there's no way. But, okay, blue team has just shot themselves in the foot because Vex has gotten basically a full wave of experience over the Pantheon. And just like I said, Pantheon is not going to be a useful champion later on this game, so he needs to get a big lead on no. this Vex. At least, though, top is starting with an advantage. Jax being at uh, half health and... Did he burn his pot already? No, Let me check. Let me check. Did he burn his pot? Uh, no. He... Yeah, he did. Okay. Let me rearrange these. Yeah, pictures. I thought I saw something ticking. Well, no pot, no flash. Yeah. Oh, this might be. Ooh. Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought that Q would do way more than that, to be honest. But. Yeah. Okay. Good. So 
just goes to show you guys, Aurelia does have some balance in her left. Okay, so Mark facing this Blitzcrank lane again. Very curious to see how this positioning will be. <laughs> Should be okay, though. Is playing Zyra. A lot of stuff to block the Blitzcrank hooks. Okay, so we see... Yeah, I never knew that fact. They do, yeah. Because Blitzcrank just... It, it pops on everything, basically. Okay, yeah. gank on the mid lane. Let's see. This looks like a kill. Oh. We do have Flash on the Pantheon. W should be coming up soon. Oh, but I remember... Oh, shoot. Zach was invading red. I forgot to commentate on that. But Oh, wait. Blue just... Wait, they just... Wait a no, second. No, will, they will a fiddle suck win this? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, this is not good. Uh, will they trade? They oh. trade? Okay. Oh, the Zach just Ooh. barely uh, flashes out of the Blitz hook. If the Blitz hook hit... Uh, I'm not sure if it would have been a kill. Because I don't think Blitz has I don't damage. Think so. But, I don't know. No, might have done something. Yeah, that was quite an oversight to see the Zac invading the red side. Like, Zac in general invading is quite odd to see, but considering how far behind the blue side is from, like, going after the Jax, I, I can see why. Yeah. Actually, I think Especially it is because know. of the Jax thing that he decided to invade there. Yeah, right. most likely. So if it all starts your Krugs, then I'm going to go take his red mm -hmm. side stuff as well. Now that I think about it, all of these are quite volatile lanes. Top lane, I, I didn't talk about it a lot, but that lane can be very scary either way. Um, yeah. I think like right now, the first here we go, here we go. Win. Okay. Oh, mm, hit by Eagles stuff. wide, Eagles oh. wide, this is not good. Uh, but Fear will save the Aurelia here, that's perfect. Okay, one second, I have to answer the phone. You can do the comic waiting for now, I'll be right back. Yeah. Exhaust use of Tristana, Tristana jump, ignited. Oh, that's one kill. Let's crank ignited. Might they might trade one for one. Ooh, Comet gets the kill. Tristana doesn't oh, but yeah, Tristana just Tristana things and that's a kill. Ooh. Will I really go back in? Nope. Well now I have to obey the laws of the, wherever the camera takes me. Oh now we're mid lane. The lane's probably going to be the most boring lane, only because nothing really happened. If Pantheon goes in, Pantheon gets full comboed. So yeah, just respecting all of Vex's range. I was getting a little close there. I'm surprised no abilities were thrown out. All right, what happened while I was gone? Anything cool? Uh, yes, actually. Uh, Tristana got a kill bot lane. They traded one for one though, or oh. two for one. Oh. Okay, let's see. Looking at the scoreboard here, bot is seen to go on the favor of the blue yeah, team. Tristana got a double kill. Uh, Zyra got the other kill on Blitzcrank with Ignite and Comet. Okay. Honestly, I think Fiddle's been playing it quite well this game. Like, I'm actually shocked to see Fiddle putting a lot of early game pressure into a Zac of all people and getting more yeah. out of it than the Zac is kind of crazy. Let me compare the gold real quick. Yeah, well, actually, it's not too much of gold difference, about 200, but that's still kind of crazy that he's matching the power of Zack. Ooh, good double root hit. That's a lot of poke damage. Oh, oh, these keys keep going win. wide. Honestly, that matchup, yeah. I feel like it is just Jack's favorite by nature of his Counter-Strike. Okay. Yeah. That's another kill on the Zaya here. Hmm. Yeah, this Tristana is going to be a bit of a menace, for sure. Granted, the Jax doesn't oh, become an no. even greater menace. Okay, alt pop by the Jax okay. here. Uh, I don't think this is one. I think Aurelia is dead here. Yep, that's going to do now. it. Quite unfortunate. Uh, a lot of it has to do with the matchup. Another thing to do with the ignite difference. And yeah, yeah if, if Aurelia How Vex gets... Is being out -poked by Pantheon? No, I can see it. Pantheon's quite strong, and he has a lot of pressure. If the fear is down, he could just top on her with W. Like, I would be 100% pressuring here as a Pantheon. I don't know why he's playing so far back. Is it because of the gank? Hmm. I'm not, I, something I tells know. me it, it isn't. It okay. Seems, it's that's been a, like this kind of the whole game. That's a weird flash. Oh. That was a strange flash. That's a strange spear. I wouldn't have known it. That whole yeah, sequence is strange, but Fiddlestick seems... Oh. Yeah. 
Wait, Zach is oh, dead here. Down. Wait, unless if the Zach passive is up, it might be actually no. But Mark does clean up the Pantheon in return. That's not the worst trade, but at the same time, uh, not the best time. yeah. I think they need to leave. There's no point in staying there. Okay, let's see. Zaya's alone. Has alt. Probably gonna pop it once the Blitz gets in range. Unless the Blitz never gets in range and just gets poked to oblivion. Uh oh, Tristana doesn't Whoa. even have six. Oh, Zaya hits with a nasty feather storm there. Dodges the blitz hook. Uh, Trist is going to hop to safety. And wait, hold up. Mark picks up another kill onto the Fiddlesticks. That's a lot of gold on this Zyra. Three in one Zyra? That is something you don't see every day. And he's got a 700 gold over... Sorry, 700 gold lead over the Blitzcrank. Uh, by nature of the pick, of course he's going to have more gold than Blitzcrank. But at the same time... Yeah, that's a lot of gold on the support. And... You know, damage supports that get to have the money to do damage, it's quite impactful. Alright, now their fight is going to break out topside. Mmm, this trade is so unfavorable for the Aurelia. Might just be dead soon. Next trade, I'm pretty sure it's just... He didn't get tower dove there. I think he's looking for it. He's going to shove this wave, and he's going to try really hard with his... He's going to go for, like, probably a Q that's empowered with his W. Hit him with one empowered auto attack, ignite, and then she's dead. So, especially with the Vex here, if executed properly, it is executed properly. This game, yeah, this this is done. For yeah, Aurelia. that lane's over. Well, Must be very tilting. That's a lot of gold uh, that's gone topside. Doesn't seem like Aurelia's getting a lot of help either. Though, granted, yeah. at this point, oh, blue side needs to play down. to the bot side. Okay, I just realized Fiddle is invading alone here. That's... Yeah, they took Dragon and kind of just went for blue buff, not knowing um, where anyone was. Uh, um, was cool. yeah, I'm not yeah. sure. I'm not sure what that one was. I, I don't know. I don't think that I was the play, though. I guess they took Dragon and assumed it was uncontested, so Zach wasn't bot side. I think, yeah, possibly, but then with the Tristana backing, you don't actually have a lot of pressure, so it's, it's yeah. a strange decision. Anyways, the game is swinging slightly in favor of the red side right now. And due to the nature of their composition, they will scale harder than the blue team. So we need to see how blue team responds to this pressure. 4-1 Zyra. Where did that last kill get picked up? Oh, well. Oh, uh, it was bot lane. Okay. Uh, yeah, it kind of happened in the background while we were watching Zyra Featherstorm. Oh, right. Right. oh, right. Yeah, I got the Fiddlesticks. Or, yeah, I got something. Okay. Yeah, it was Fiddlesticks, yeah. Gotcha. Okay, so Rift Herald's gonna be up now. Zach is. Never mind. Zach is definitely not going for it. Maybe they're looking for the Pantheon here. No, no just channeling the back. How's mid lane doing? Let's see. Oh my God, Pantheon is getting quite zoned off this. I don't know if he's getting zoned off the CS or if he's just missing the CS. But uh, either I think way, it's getting. I think it's missing because what I've been watching is just like. All the spears are just going straight towards mm -hmm. Vex. Oh, Nothing that's a really hook on the Zaya. Oh. Mm, that, yeah, Zyra is absolutely devastating against Diver ADCs like Tristana. As soon as that R drops, there's such a, like the Tristana, if she jumps in and the Zaya, Zyra drops her alt on top, there is nothing the Trist can do except get knocked up. And with all the plants hitting, especially how fed the Zyra is, yeah, there's no shot. So honestly, yeah. if they're going to fight bot lane, I think they definitely have to go for the Zyra, take out the Zyra, Zyra and then work on the ADC after. Because really, Zyra is the one doing all the damage. Alright. That was a very good turn. This is perfect. Big 2 for 0 top, but at the same time... Aurelia is now back into the game. Yeah, Aurelia gameplay, truly. And looking at the farm, Aurelia's been out farming Jax by a significant margin, so that's huge. Um, bot, I don't know exactly what the sequence of events was. I know Shastana picked up the first death, but it did go to Zyra. And Zyra then, uh, consequently got shut down by the, uh, the Pantheon? I think Pantheon ulted in. Yeah. Yeah, so, that's what happened. Big fight. And now the gold is swinging in favor of blue side. So, you know, this game is just flip-flopping. Haven't seen this one before. Uh, no. so blue team will be securing the Herald here. Dragon is spawning in a minute and 40, okay. 
See, the thing about the Blitzcrank pick, yes, it's a, it's really, really annoying. Cheesy, can get a lot of picks, but in the late game, it's so, so useless. So I, yeah. I do think there's a timer on the blue team, so they need to keep pushing this lead if they want to have any shot. Okay, Tristan is going for the engage here. Ooh, I think that might be the end. Oh, no. Ooh. I don't know, I don't Oh, the flashy. If, honestly, I think Zaya could have pushed further. I, I don't know why she backed off slightly, but at the same time, got the yeah. kill in the end. Don't know if the flash was expended because of that mistake, but... Okay, this is going to be a kill for the Aurelia, pretty sure. Yeah. With the ult not coming... Okay, we don't need the ult, it's just an E. Okay. No. Yeah, that's... Aurelia can't really fault the Vex there. Was sitting in bush that whole time. But, uh, okay, Zaya is going to pull it right through the fiddlesticks here. Unless... Wait, that's not a good position. Wait, wait. Wait a second. How did that... How did that... What? Okay, I, I never expected no the fiddle to turn like that, that with an alt in vision. Just right in front of them. That... I think the Zaya alt was not in the proper direction. And especially no, because he kited down... He was not going to line up any kind of pull in that situation. He had to kite towards his tower for him to get the pull through the fiddle. That's what I thought was going to happen. But unfortunately, yeah. that's not what we got. So, uh, yeah, that's a bit of a misstep. That's a two for nothing on the side of blue blue side. So, how much of that gold goes over to... Oh, okay. We got to jump in. Not Nothing much here. Okay, so yeah. Fiddle 6 picks up a, quite a bit of gold here. And fiddle will be a very powerful asset in winning the blue side. Uh, the blue, the blue team, the the team fights. So, with dragon spawn, be another dragon, I think, for blue side as they have a lot more pressure set up. We do have the Aurelia rotating down already, and Jax has to catch the wave that has been shoved in. Oh, is Aurelia just backing here? Okay, well, either way, Jax has ignite, so he can't really do anything. He can't rotate immediately with a teleport, whereas the Aurelia Jax can. Is actually backing. Okay, so then Aurelia decides to stay and pressure, I guess, with the teleport, because it looks like no team is kind of in a rush to get to the dragon. Uh, we're no. just going to see bot side being shoved out by the red team. Same with mid. Um, okay, now Aurelia's back shoving another wave. Jax is going to miss a decent amount of that wave. I'm assuming that Aurelia will now rotate towards the dragon for a team fight. So I think everyone right now is trying to push their waves. Or not. Get, so. Okay, no. I think Aurelia just realizes, okay, I still have TP. If Jax is showing top, I'll just match it, and then I'll TP in, and then we'll have the 5v4. So, yeah, well, I'm not exactly sure point. what's going on here. No, it seems like everyone has their own agenda as to how they want to set up for drag. I, I guess no one's going for drag, so yeah, we'll just see what goes here. I'm... Pretty sure they're gonna like the teams are gonna be looking for a pick as soon as that pick is taken. I think they'll go for drag after. So the question is, where is this pick gonna take place? Probably bot lane because it always is. Most likely. What do items look like right now? Oh, there it is. The blind oh, the face check. Art. The fiddle are kind of unnecessary, but yeah. Oh uh, yeah. That. Now that they got the pick on the Zyra, that's an. Uh, an immense amount of pressure that has now been taken off of the red side. They're gonna go give up the dragon now, judging from how that's none of their solo laners dragon. are rotating. Neither the nope. ADC. Okay, so that's two drags to nothing for the blue Aurelia side. Down, the soul is inferno. Okay, that is a strange Aurelia E. Aurelia still goes in anyway and still kills the Vex because... Because Vex... Yeah, yeah. Vex can't do anything into Aurelia, unfortunately. As much as you would think that Vex counters Aurelia, it's... It's only true to a degree. As soon as there's an extended trade, Vex will lose. Like any other mage, unless they're Cassiopeia. Okay. Uh, Pantheon will be ulting top. I don't... I'm not sure about this, this seems decision. seems a little early. No one else will there. Yeah, that's... He just retreats to safety. But at the same time, they will get the tower now. Jax will have to give this they up. They actually tower dive them. Okay. I, I hope Jax doesn't try to stay here, because this is not a, a wise decision. Jax does stay. Oh, will he trade one though? No, he will not. He did. The ignite will be burned on the Aurelia, not the Pantheon. The Aurelia E goes wide again. Wait, this is. Wait, I thought this was gonna be such a favorable die for Blue Side, but somehow, Jax is not only alive, but the others are incredibly low, and we burn the Pantheon and the Aurelia Flash. Oh my! Oh, Whoa. that's not. Oh no! Whoa. Oh no! That's crazy. Okay. That was crazy. Okay, the fact that Jax was able to get anything in this situation, let alone two kills to one, is just absurd. That is 
a massive. Okay, well, this is gonna be a kill for fiddlesticks. Okay, yeah. sorry. Is there about that? <laughs> yeah, but oh my god, that that was a massive misplay by Blue Side. That that looks so free. Like yeah. I cannot believe yeah, that was really thrown. Free. That was. Blitz crank walks up, like baits out Jack's E. Yeah, you just go melee range of him. Wait back. for him to E. Wait for the yeah. E to come off. Then kill him. Don't attack him till then. Like. Oh, Zyra gets a good flank here, but we'll trade because Aurelia will dash onto her. Waiting for the cooldown. Yeah, there it is. Okay, now Aurelia is a bit of a precarious situation. It's a 2v1 with a, with a third on the way. Oh, that's a nice movement. Um, If Aurelia can go in with the R... No, I, I don't think this is going to turn out well. No, no. Oh, oh, the Zac... Okay, the Zac flashed in to secure it. There could have been a possibility that the Zyre would have been traded with Aurelia, so that was a good flash by the Zac to prevent that. Okay. Uh, the gold now is really, really in favor to blue side still, but Jax did take up a couple things. I, yeah, this is what I wanted from blue side. I want them to snowball their lead if they want to win this, because they will get eventually outscaled. At the same time, they're one team fight away from losing. If Jax was able to devastate them with just himself, I think Jax plus Zack is going to be... And there's the oh, that, and there is the hidden Fiddle R. Ooh, you know? massive. These Fiddle R's have been really good. That's... Yeah. This Fiddle is popping off this game. A lot of gold. Let's check the gold difference in the jungle here. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's a 3k oh, gold wow. lead. Just off of jungle alone, that's the highest deficit for position. Uh, comparing to everyone, yeah. That fiddlesticks is massively ahead. And like, I personally detest fiddlesticks because I just feel so useless with all out. And this guy, he is definitely proving me wrong in that fiddle can definitely be useful without his ult. Okay, so we're seeing a lot of poke going on in the bot side. How far are they going to chase him? Okay, they're going to back off now. Harold's gonna yeah. be used mid, unlucky charge. The tower was almost dead there. Okay, Fiddle oh, is very likely to be dead here. Oh, that's an aggressive Tristana jump. Oh, I don't know. Oh, failed the jump. Oh. oh, and the stun is gonna miss. Oh, the blitz hook is gonna go wide. Okay, luckily went out unscathed, barring the Fiddlesticks. Bit too aggressive there. The Tristana engage was not exactly what I wanted to see there, but all good. Jungle, oh sorry. Dragon will be spawning 40 seconds. Uh, let's see how the teams rotate to this. Blue has Pryo. Uh, I assume Blitzcrank will then put out Vision for the blue side here. Um, really went for Divine Thunder. Interesting. I kind of get it. I wouldn't go Shield Bow into them. Okay, so Red's going to be pushing it out. How is Red pushing it out? Okay, it's because uh, two members from the blue team are back in base walking over. Okay, so let's see it. Red team is probably going to start up the dragon now. They've secured vision. Uh, the red, the pit will definitely be a death zone for the blue team if the Zyra and the Zac play it properly, and especially the Fiddle. Uh, if he, if he walks into that zone while the Zyra is dropping the alt or something, it's going to be very tough. They pulled it out as well, so it's not going to be easy for the Fiddle to get in there without uh, being close. Uh, Zyra does in fact have Ludens. I respect it though. Okay, so the Fiddle ult comes in, but it's a bit too far oh, away. Yeah, the yeah. Zyra R goes crazier. Oh, Aurelia is trying to kill the back line. The team seems to be split. We have Aurelia by herself in the back. Oh, Blue is overwhelmingly winning this though. Okay, Blitz catches the Zaya with the, the knockup. Wait, a Quadra kill over to the Pantheon? Okay, that was 100% a KS Quadra, but, you know... Pants will be Definitely useful. Was. We take those. Yeah. Pants now has an opening to actually be relevant late game. Yup. Uh, okay. I think the worst thing about that team fight for red side was the Vex alt. I think it just shouldn't have been that. I think it was too late. Fiddle had already gone in, Fiddle was low, and Vexal came out, but it was too late at that point. And then Vexal goes in, and Vex didn't have... It looked like Vex didn't have any cooldowns up, because she kind of went in, and then no other ability was hit. Mm -hmm. So I think everything might have been used on Aurelia, causing 
Fiddle to not die as quickly as possible, which means Vex doesn't get her resets. Man, I really thought Red Team would have won that, especially with the Fiddle up being so far out of range and not actually hitting anyone yeah. there. And the Zyra knockup did a lot there too. I think it's mostly because the engagers split up with the rest of the team and it was just unlucky. Agreed. Okay, the, oh no, another fight is breaking out. Okay, Blitzcrank and Jax will go down. But then the Fiddle will clean up the Zack immediately. These Fiddle ults have been so strong. Barring the one at red, but you know, they still won that one anyway. Sorry, not at red, at dragon. But uh, blue will probably just I think take this. Vex is oh! For an R angle. Yep, there it is. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna. Oh. Yeah. Oh, trades? Trades it. Trades it. We take those. Um. So blue is continuing to stay I'm on this him. Baron. Yeah. Uh, but they red team is gonna have secure. a massive impact here. Okay, red team will probably wipe this. Blue team will secure Baron, but. We have the Zaya DPS. Okay, never mind. I, I was kidding. I was kidding. I, I forgot. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Just on a gameplay. Oh, and a BM. Oh, crazy. Oh, that. Oh, man. Man, Zaya has not been able to do anything much this game, unfortunately. And it's strange, no. too, because I thought Zaya would have a decent amount of appeal with their front line. But their fights have been all so disjointed that it's just like we have the frontliners fighting oh, alone and then the backline yeah. comes in when the frontline's gone which means that the backline could then dive their backline and it's just unfortunate okay so we got a big zack okay um so we took out the fiddle already let's see if they can get more will they take the tristan out i don't know okay well jack seems to really That's want to kill this this blitzcrank okay Aurelia will clear the... Oh, Zack will live. And smite the Tristana. Nice. That's a big shutdown. Wait, red team's getting a lot here, actually. That's that's not something you want to do, Blue especially team after Baron has taken. Overextend after getting an objective. Yeah, the Fiddle invade there was quite interesting. I would have definitely yeah, it happened just... happened at Dragon the first time, and now it's happening at Baron. They need to mm -hmm. get the objective at Finger Gold, and then come back. It seems to be inconsequential as of now. I don't think they'll get anything except maybe this tier 1 tower. Yeah, definitely this tier 1 tower. But uh, if they continue to do practices like this, it might swing the game in Red's favor. Well, Aurelia is still dead for another 10 seconds. So is Shrasana. So I think Vex just gets top tower. Uh, I Possibly. But I think that tower is full health. So, But I guess no one is uh, going to be rotating up there because there's another fight breaking out. Blitzcrank Cook goes wide, but they take out two. Take out Jackson Zyra. They're going to take out these two as well. Pantheon dealing a decent amount of damage here. Yep. Okay, and Pantheon yep, just takes another power. kill. Is that a triple for Pantheon again? Yep, there we go. Yep. So this Pantheon is now 11 and 3. Yeah, that is. Go. That is not something I thought I would say. But, you know, no, this Pantheon is 11 all. and 3. Despite the farm not being in the triple digits yet, the only one, uh, this Pantheon is definitely demonstrating that... Oh my god, just looking at the gold here. So we have the Fiddle, who still has a 3k gold lead. Oh, wait. Vex There's dives no in. That's, that's not the play for the Vex here. Okay. Safety no. flash for the Tr Tristana. Uh, don't know if that would have killed, but, you know. Very, very ambitious dive from the Vex. I don't know if you should be looking for these anymore. You're not that strong. So yeah, no. mid lane, Sebastian is up by about 4k, so never mind. I think PG. Sebastian might have the biggest oh, gold lead not. outside of everyone. Sorry. Oh, and okay, now. dude, these fiddle ults are just going on and on. Hello? Don't commentate. Hello. Shh, quiet, quiet, stop. No. Don't say anything, don't say anything, stop. No, you're not allowed. You're not allowed. No, you're not. Or I'll, I'll no, meet you. Stop it. Stop no it. No freedom of speech here. There's no freedom of speech here. Okay, so now uh, looks to be a big team fight that's going to occur in this bot site because the infernal is coming up. That's going to be soul if it's taken. Um, okay, bit of a dance going on here. Aureli's doing a bit of poke. The dragon dance, the best dance there is. Okay, so Zyra is going to be heading in from base now. Let's just um, use your fear. Okay, so blue seems to have complete control of the river right now, so red is going to have to take an aggressive engage in order to do anything. And I think this engage has to start from Zack, or it's not going to turn out well. Okay, Jax is a bit isolated. Ooh, massive hook. And, okay, 
Not much to say here besides Red just got cleaned. Poor Zaya tries to do something, but that's just a lot of damage. Just a lot yeah. of damage. And like I said, if Zyra Blue gets rolling, Blue gets rolling. And they definitely got rolling in this game. Are you filming? Joey, be quiet. Yeah. No, because okay. where are we? So now that why the red team is wiped, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the game. Yeah. Also, it's very interesting to see that Zyra ult actually now does no damage. She's been outscaled by uh, everybody else. Yeah, looking at the kills, there's a lot of kills on, on the blue side. I, I will say MVP is 100% this fiddle sticks. Almost every ult has been impactful yeah. and even showed impact before Fucking level 6. Fucking ults weren't so annoying. Joey, stop. Okay, so this will probably be the final fight. We'll see here. Yeah, just a slaughter. Jump. Why is everybody? Why is everybody in here? Oh, ooh, Zaya trades one. Okay, we got the we got the we got the movement from the Zaya. We got the, okay. Ooh, crazy AOE fear. Unfortunately, there's no follow up. Unfortunately, so uh, uh unfortunate. <laughs> Okay, they're just cleaning up the wave. Looks to be E end. Oh, last ditch effort to go in. Okay. Zyra, sorry, Zyra, sorry. Zyra picked off. Zaya picks back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, and that's oh, the game. GG's for the blue team. Okay.